All right, so welcome back for step two of this exercise. Um, and in step two, what we're going to do is, um, as we did with the cloth knot, to try to start um, thinking about um, the volume and how the light is showing us the volume of the form. So again, two, two important things to keep in mind as you're doing this step. One is to have a really strong sense of where the light is coming from. So how the light is shining on this object and exactly where it is relative to the object and relative to you. So in this case, the light's above, it's to the right, and it's slightly in front of the object that I'm drawing. All right, so that's number one. So what that tells me right away is that I know as I move down that form with the light up here, I'm going to be basically running from light up here to dark as I go down this form. So that means everything up here is going to be lighter and then as I move down this whole form things are going to slowly get darker. So by the time I'm down here the lights are generally darker than they are up here because it's further away from the light and light uh, weakens over, over distance. So, so I've got a light to dark gradation this way. And that means that any plane facing up towards the light is going to be lighter than any, any, any um, form uh, or any plane facing down away from the light. So as I turn up, it's lighter. As I turn away from light, darker. Up again, lighter, darker, lighter, darker. And as we go down this form, all right? The other gradation that we want to think about is the gradation of light to dark from right to left. Since the light's on the right, things are going to go from, from light this way to darker as I go over this way. So as I run over the forms this way, things are gonna get things, things are gonna get darker. So that's step number one, is just understanding that that's what's happening with the light relative to this form. All right, then the second thing we want to do is kind of, here it's really important to, to kind of change our thinking a little bit about what we're doing. Before we were looking very flatly so we could more accurately see distances and angles and so forth. And now when we start, um, when we're past this sort of flat light and shadow um, stage, we've got to start thinking about the actual sculptural shapes that we're seeing and how they're, um, uh, how they're presenting to us in, in a plainer way. So what I mean is, so up here, you know, there's a lot of light up here. And what I don't want to do is just copy the light and dark shapes. I want to think about what the form is. So if I turn off this light and I just ran my hand over this form, how would it be moving? So up here, it's lighter on top, darker as I come down, an up plane here, and then a down plane. So it's lighter up here, then darker as I go down, up, down. So we see that it's like steps running down the figure. And any up step is gonna be lighter, any down step is gonna be darker. So as I put on the light, I can't just willy-nilly copy the lights and darks. I have to think about the form first, and then how I'm gonna show that form by showing a lighter plane on top, darker plane as I come down. So really with, with two and sometimes three values, we can show that. We don't have to get really complicated. In fact, again, we're just taking kind of a baby step away from this position and going, um, and moving from a, a, a two value situation to one where maybe we use three values, where we have a light, a middle tone, and a dark. And that's gonna be enough to get us these, these plane changes. All right, so. All right, so, um, so I'm identifying the top plane. So up here on top of the shoulder, I've got a top plane. So that's, that's got to be lighter. And so we're going to have kind of a blocky, you know, blocky look to things in this first, in this first stage. I'm just going to be sort of blocking things out almost like they were rectangular solids. And then I have, um, I may have to use my white chalk because I Lost some of the uh, lost some, some of the, uh, the light of my paper in making corrections. Actually, actually, we'll start up here with the head. All right. So what I've done is I've mapped out a little uh, darker plane here. So this is it's light. It's just darker light up here. So I have. So I'm going to have a lighter value up top here. Let's see if I can get my, uh, let's see, let's get this out. And again, I'm sort of making a, sh making a shape here. To get a little bit. If 
you have to go with your white chalk hatch, as I said, said before, if you don't want to. All right, so I've got light on top and then darker, and then I move to shadow. So three values. It's like boom, boom, boom. All right, and then down here with the light on top of the nose. So I've mapped out darker. It's not shadow, but it's a darker value over here. Darker, lighter on top. And then darker as I come down here. So then it's lighter on top of the cheek here. And again, I'm trying to think, you know, in terms of the biggest, sort of biggest shapes possible, just what are the, what's the big sort of up plane and down plane that's happening. Here we'll get to some bigger shapes in here now. So up plane, down plane, and this is up plane again in here. And then a down plane as they come into this area. So up, down, up, down. Here I've got an, uh, yeah, with my stump I'm trying to draw in these shapes and with my white chalk I'm, I'm trying to fill in fill in a shape. So and sometimes I'll go back and I'll actually um, if I feel like the shape is a little mushy, I'll come back and I'll put a little bit more of a boundary on it. So again, just real simple, up, down, up, down. Here on top of the rib cage here, I've got an up plane. And this is down plane. Out here in the light, I don't have to really, you know, just the fact that my stump is, is dirty is enough to get me the darker tone that I need. I don't want to put in a tone that's so dark. One of the challenges in doing this is to make sure that, the, that everything in the light stays light. Like if I, if I come in with, with this and I make a really dark tone out here, then it's going to seem like shadow. So I have to, I have to kind of honor that original light plane and not do anything to confuse it with the shadow. So hopefully you can see where I'm going with it. It's just really simple because, and the reason I want to keep it simple is once I get the stage finished, it's just a, it's kind of a, just a baby step away from that flat light and shade plane. And I can, I'll be able to see my drawing better because, because I've started to create volume. So when I put in light, I see the drawing better. When I start creating volume, I see the drawing better. So I don't want to get too complicated at this stage with the light and shade, just these simple planar movements and then I'll uh, reassess the drawing at the end of that stage. All right, so I'll work on this a little bit, come back and we'll take a closer look in, um, uh, after I go through the whole figure.